and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkja Wiersma, also known as ETA. So yes, I, today I have my update, my blooming update for the month of May. I know when you watch this, it's already June, but um, I'm not cheating. This is my phone and you can see there it's uh, May 30. Whoops, that's me. <laughs> I hope you can see it there. Uh, the wizard and there is the date. So I'm not cheating, but... Um, uh, last week I was uh, at my visit at Landsbergen, the open house, and I promised that this uh, Sunday I would uh, upload that video. That's next, next week, and I mentioned that because I uh, um, met some viewers, which was great. But that video will be next week because I uh, almost did forget my blooming update. So that's why I'm a little bit late, but here it is, the update for May. And we started with this uh, beautiful colored uh, Colmenara something, Colmenara uh, Catante Pacific Sunspots. And it's still blooming and you can see a few blooms are going over, but it was a bit uh, top heavy, so I broke the spike. Or it, it did break itself actually, I didn't break it, but I uh, tried to stake it, but yeah, damage was already done as you can see here. Nonetheless, nonetheless, we have some beautiful blooms over here still left. So that is this one. I'm going to start over here. I think that's the easiest one with the rest. And look at this. Currently, I can almost say we have three blooms on one spike on this uh, Paphiopedalum uh, Pinocchio Alba. The first one is uh, about to open up. Then we have the second one. And even the third one is still on here. Never had that happen before. I think, oops. I assume this one will fall off soon, but it still looks kind of okay so that's nice obviously this one is uh, done blooming <laughs> but yeah we have some uh, puffy petalum blooms over here and not to forget of course my uh, american beauty um american hybrid is it i always call this american yeah american beauty but that's a movie <laughs> this is a puffy petalum american hybrid that is this one fairly nice big balloon Top heavy, but the spike didn't break, luckily. Beautiful black hairs on there. But those are the paths over here. So yes, you already know what I'm going to upload next week. It's going to be a good one with new blooms and new uh, plants. And this is an older one, but it's just starting to bloom. Beautiful, beautiful flower this is. And I do have the name, I need to grab the tag because it's a very long name. Here it is. That's the one there. And it has a, a bit of anise fragrance in it. So that's, uh, and I love anise, the fragrance. No, new spike coming, two new blooms on the way. This is my Oncidium, Katarina Zuck. Still blooming. Very, uh, looks very like the Sherry Baby. I believe one, uh, the Sherry Baby is one of the parents. The fragrance is a bit stronger. It's not as much, uh, not, not as nice as the uh, Sherry Baby, I must admit. But s still, it's, uh, it's a nice bloom. And in here we have a Puffy Bloom, uh, Puffy <laughs> Psychopsis Bloom over here. And another one over here, but they, those are facing obviously the direction of the light coming from the window there but this is the bloom isn't that something special always amazed about these guys they are so different than the rest then i have a little side shoot here on the purpurata which is nice so i only cut the tips if they start to brown and then they can shoot out again so if you have something like this don't cut the spike completely and I always do that. I don't cut spikes when they're still green. I try not to do. And sometimes uh, for some orchids, I didn't know this one could do it, but then they start to shoot out. So uh, that's nice. Yeah, some snail pellets there. I have some snails running around. So I have some feet for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my Odonto Glossum. I don't know if you saw that uh, bit of uh, <coughs> yellow there, but that's for next week. That's a new plant. Anyhow, this is my Sturbic. Odonto Glossum Sturbic Red. You have the purple variety as well, but I, uh, I personally like the red variety a little bit better. I'm sorry for that leaf there. Absolutely beautiful. 
I love it. I have it for years and years. But yeah, it's it really likes to bloom. Oops. A, a favorite of mine, absolutely favorite. So I need to <laughs> don't show what's on the floor right now. That's for next week. Here we have a um, Miltonia opposite. This one is going over, as you can see. It now looks like a watercolor painting, doesn't it? This is how it looks. But even this one, I can see it's already starting to go over. But look at that. Beautiful size on this. Beautiful colors. I have a new spike over here, but sadly some buds are dropping. I think this, these three will make it. I did spray it for spider mites. I probably had some on the flower spike. I tried to avoid it, but sometimes it just happens. And then they start to blast. Sadly. Sadly. Over here I have a spidery type argot. I don't know which one it is. It's mislabeled from an eBay seller. I had some uh, difficulties with last year and this is the plant I had in the same order and all of those orchids are mislabeled. But I think it looks, it looks a little bit like my uh, Shilip Tolkien. That one we will see in a minute as well. It's in the greenhouse and it's blooming. It's not completely the same, but maybe it it is the same variety. I'm not completely sure. But anyhow, mislabeled, so that one uh, will uh, go to another grower someday. Then we have here, look at that. Quite an abundant of blooms. Beautiful Miltoniopsis blooms. This might be the red tie, I'm not completely sure. But it's, uh, I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> it's quite a, become quite a plant. It's going in two di directions. This one is done blooming. But it's uh, doing well and it uh, has two beautiful strong spikes over here. You can see they are absolutely top heavy. <laughs> Filled with blooms. And while we're here, this is my uh, uh, black velvet, Masdevelia black velvet. We have one bloom here, That's obviously this one. I have one here. This spike was probably a little bit stuck, but we have a new sp uh, bud here as well. That's why it's a bit low, but it's coming from behind there. And I have two on this over here, plus a new but let's let's turn it around a little bit here we are look at these there we go two flowers here and a spike here so this one is doing well i'm always a little bit confused with this one because of the darkness of the leaves but the new growth start up uh, pretty light lighter than this and then when they start to mature they go very dark i did try to give it higher light but it keeps on going dark so that's what this one does, I believe. Let's have a look over here. Well, my Zygo, this one is, uh, as you can see, those are obviously going over. Lewis and Dorf, but we have a fairly nice looking bloom here. Next to it, we have my Odontoglossum Lisa's Delight. Beautiful spike. Nice colored blooms. Then over here, this is a new one opening up. It's not a new plant, I have this for uh, several years. A Miltoniopsis Brettus Brilliant is this. Beautiful flowers. Absolutely love the pattern on it. Quite a nice spike, I did uh, mistreat it. <laughs> this is one of my older ones, but you can see it's not a big plant because it uh, needed some time to recover. But luckily I have it in bloom again. So it's going better. And down here we have this one. Also very nice. Absolutely beautiful. And my her Alexander still in bloom. But you can see the purple is a little bit starting to fade. Well, I'm not completely sure, but I can see it in real, uh, real life better. But maybe you see it a little bit over here, the edges. Nonetheless, still beautiful. And this is a division of the same one. Also her Alexander, obviously. <laughs> Next to it, this beauty. What a beautiful color. This is Miltoniopsis Xantina variety. No, uh, I'm sorry. Miltoniopsis Ruslii variety uh, Xantina. Xantina. There is the tag. 
a beautiful uh, yellow one it looks so pretty then we have this white one over here beautiful spikes here two beautiful spikes in the one in the back is from a division so it's not on the same plant anymore this was in bloom in my uh, last update as well and i like these splatters Spl spl splatters like uh, dots of paint on on the, on the lip there i think this is called a lip in this case not as much but these ones do as well so here and there some blooms are showing those uh, paint splatters <laughs> then up here are my uh, oldest and biggest miltoniopsis it's the uh, princess diana a variety of princess diana over here oh the fragrance is so fantastic on these guys absolutely stunning and in the back another big one you can see there is a spike on it so that's for the next update <laughs> but yeah let me uh, go back a little bit so you can see them all i love them so much it looks so great these miltoniopsis in bloom ah, almost forget this one call um yeah colmenara altmar then it's this red purple one now in full bloom doing great doing great and we have some more blooms coming over here purple one so yeah i will have more miltoniopsis in bloom next time let's uh, have a look in the greenhouse whoops <laughs> there was something yellow as well that's for next week <laughs> keep forgetting i have them on the floor leodoro stunning i will uh, put my link in on all the fails for uh, if you uh, didn't saw that video i go over them one by one or maybe you want to see it again <laughs> but you can see some are done blooming i had quite some uh, warm temperatures last week and the fails don't like it uh, around 30 or even more or even higher and then some start to drop the blooms it's okay it happens i just cannot uh, change it and some do really like it and start to make even more blooms <laughs> this is one of the uh, youtube haul i did not that long ago look at that beauty from germany this one is still in bloom no, it is going over maybe i have a better bloom yeah this one is looking fresher also a yellow one as you can see that is there this one is still in bloom very beautiful my tolumnia won't stop blooming and i'm not complaining <laughs> as you can see it starts keeping uh, uh it, it keeps making these branches i think this is the third time this year this season on the same spike same two spikes actually it starts well actually i'm no there's yeah there's also a branch over here whoops i'm sorry there there's a bud coming so both spikes are keep producing flowers so that is that oops i'm stuck with my cable here <laughs> of my mic something in cyclia catlea type no idea is in bloom here and this is the prostechia chocolata variety chocolata that is this one beautiful yellow variety and then we have the green horned one over here this one you can see probably that it's those parts start to yellow up so i think it's almost done blooming but nonetheless still beautiful the octopus type flowers and here is another one this is two spikes are so beautiful we have so many flowers on this one this is the black comet look at that stunning if you ask me ah my encyclia tempest is uh let me turn the plant quickly yeah this is the encyclia tempensis variety alba let me put it in this is the first flower to open up there she is I had some bud blast 
probably because of thrip, so I had to spray it. But I think it's fine now. We have quite some buds to open up, luckily. So I didn't lose them all, but yeah. It's today, yesterday it was still in bud, but today it is, I think this morning it opened up. Then here, look at this beauty, still in bloom. It's a Lelia Purpurata. I don't know which one, it's mislabeled. I have it as this Striata, but like I explained in another video, I missed the Striatas, the stripes. But nonetheless, it's beautiful, but if you recognize it, maybe you uh, know the name, but there's so many varieties, I, I cannot find the right name. So that is here. Some more fails, still blooming. <laughs> Some are going over. And that is the roof, you probably hear. Temperatures rising. So then it starts making these noises. Anyhow, here are some nobly flowers left. This is actually are a few new ones. And I have one opening up here. This is a mis bit misshaped, as you probably can see. And then down here, this one is starting to make some new flowers. Beautiful. Again, not complaining. Whoops. My Sherry Baby is done with this spike, but it's making uh, two more spikes, one here and one there. And that is from my other uh, Sherry Baby, that's the Red Doll. Ruby Doll, I'm sorry. So let's see, we have some flowers left here on Roy Takanada. Most of them are going over, but still a few. Nora is obviously next to him. <laughs> she is making a new spike over there. And we have the older ones. This one looks very dirty. <laughs> and these as well, but we will have some fresh blooms in the next update, I believe. Then here I have still some beautiful flowers on the Dendrobium Fenoliopsis uh, Purple Happiness. I hope you can see it. The backdrop is quite strong because of the sun, but anyhow. And then down here I have another Dendrobium Fenoliopsis. Just to open it up with a new spike, as you can see, quite some buds over there. This is, where is the tag? Whoops, there is the tag. This is the Polar Fire, yes. Sorry, couldn't remember the name on top of my head. This is an old leaf, don't mind that old leaf, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is of my fires. But that is it, and it's making another spike over here, and another one over here, and did, I did break it with watering. So sad, but anyhow, it still looks beautiful. Then this epidendrum, strange looking epidendrum. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's beautiful, four blooms. And then Rene Marquez, flamethrower, decided to make uh, two more blooms. Beautiful, right? The colors on this are so stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Epidendrums, the white one. I moved them and I think they do better. They look, uh, have a lighter green color on them. So more light for the epidendrums. Just starting this spike and then we have that orange yellow one over there. Also beautiful, I think. And then I have this dendrobium still in bloom. It's such a beautiful one. Bloody red, it's called. That is over here. Oh, we can see it once again, I'm sorry. Hard to see for me on my screen now, but next to it we have this beauty, still in bloom. This is Dendrobium Fenoliopsis and a green splash. One of my favorites. I love green and, and purple and pinks together some spikes that's for the next time and this is i think it was verona let me quick nay torero i'm sorry i always confuse those two but this is torero bilara torero beautiful 
we get another spike here so that's for the next time and i have two spikes over there on this one and two spikes already open this is my shilap talking and it, it, it's not the same as the one we saw inside of the arcade room i can now see it the lip is different but there's a little bit both of them have a little bit of pink that mislabeled one i mentioned earlier in the video but look at that beautiful two spikes very nice spidery arcades <laughs> And then you guys, this is uh, one of my favorites. Well, I think it's the favorite on, uh, amongst my brushia types. We have obviously a big spike there, one here. This is my orange delight. And look at that in the back, we have another spike. We have another spike growing here and another spike growing here. And in here is another new growth that probably will at least bring one spike as well. So quite a nice uh, abundance of bloom, but look at these blooms. Absolutely stunning, if you ask me. And it's quite, this plant gets, gets quite a size to it. I have it for many years now. And it loves it. I love it and it loves it here. Semi hydroponic, big pot. <laughs> that is this one. Then, yeah, we have still a, a, a few blooms left, but it's not even worth mentioning, I think. This is a uh, Miltonia. Um, yeah, this one is falling off already. Uh, come on. It was this what? This was the name White. And but in the background there, let me zoom in. Oh, the cable is in front of it. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. That's my sunset over there. I um, apologize. I should prepare this a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Oh, I love all these colors on here, on this one. So it's a beautiful one. And this one is uh, also uh, getting quite some size to it. Another spike over here that's a little bit older. So it's starting to fade and some flowers are going over, but that is it one. And then I have my spotted one. So this is basically the same, but this is a, uh, it's a miscolor shade because of the spotting. Those shouldn't be there. But anyhow, I still like it, so I keep it. My festiva, well, this is going over, but we have some uh, fresh blooms here. Miltonia festiva. Whoops, I'm sorry. There we go. Beautiful. Nice, compact. Also a bit older plant, but um, this is quite compact. If you compare it to other Miltonias like this one before belt. <laughs> and look at this. This one keeps on blooming and blooming and blooming. Isn't this beautiful? This is a gift from Inter. This is the Maxillaria variabilis yellow. And it just keeps on shooting out new blooms. I had no idea they even could, could do that. But yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I love it. Very happy with this gift as well. Let's put it back. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And I think you guys, this is it. No, of course not. I always forget something. And always it's something beautiful. Then Drobia Harvianum has a new spike. I think this is the fifth spike on it. Look at those hairs. Beautiful, right? Like I mentioned before, the plant itself I'm not very happy with. Could look better, but unless it grows, this is the last game. It's uh, way larger than the ones before. But yeah, I'm trying to focus on growing it a bit better. And then we have my Dendrobium Victoria Regina in bloom. Look at that. Just starting to open up. Oops, I'm sorry for the shaking. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. Whoop. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> hibiki. I forget my hibiki. Just starting to open up. Also a very special one. If you ask me, very beautiful. And this is the bamboo. It, well, it has a bit of a bloom level. You can see it's starting to go over now. And this is the Hancockii, the Dendrobium Hancockii. 
and cookie eye and this one i think this fell wasn't in the blooming update this is the beautiful white big lip variety with fresh new blooms look how beautiful white these are absolutely stunning i think so yeah we have quite some uh, blooms left luckily <laughs> And uh, quickly checking, no need, I don't need to film the floor. Maybe you like this one. This is my Hoya shooting star. The leaves are starting to green up again. So they were even yellower, but look at that. Isn't that something? I know it's not an orchid. I only have two Hoyas, but this one is so beautiful. And I have new cluster. I think this might be even the fifth time it blooms, fourth or fifth time. This one gives a lot of blooms. But I had the wrong pH, so it couldn't take up the nutrients. But it, it, these were completely, almost completely yellow, and they start to green up again. <laughs> Poor thing. I did forget to put a calcium in and a magnesium to balance the pH. So yeah, that wasn't handy. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I think this is it for now. So yeah, next time, as we saw, we have uh, new spikes on the way, so it would be a bit different. And uh, yeah, as usual, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed the blooming update. It's one of my most popular videos. So I believe you do, and I completely understand why, because it's such a beauty. And, in the end, this is most of the times why we have the Arcus, right? For, uh, for those beautiful, special blooms. Absolutely special. Look at this then. The pattern, it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you at uh, my next uh, video. Bye-bye. <laughs>